Go fuck yourself. 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 Go fuck yourself. What's going on Jets Nation? I hope all of you are doing well. So right now I'm introducing a brand new segment on Straight 100 Jets called The Shit List. And I don't think I need to explain to you what, what The Shit List is. And our fir very first inaugural member, and he'll probably be on there for the rest of his life, is Woody Johnson. Now Woody actually did something right for a change. When he had Braxton Berrios surprise a um, longtime season ticket holder with, um, with field passes for the upcoming season, which is great. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. They're thinking, John, why would Woody be on the shit list if he actually did something right? Well, the reason is it's because it's woefully inadequate. He should be doing this to every season ticket holder who's had to suffer for the last 12 years without any playoffs, without winning football, without any return on investment for the hundreds if not thousands of dollars they have spent supporting this team and getting absolute shit in, in return from the team. Now, I've been lucky that I've been, I've been running my own business from home for the last 10 years, and there's one thing I've learned as a business owner. If your services are not on par to what the customer demands, you, you, give, them, you give them free time to make sure you, you do the job right, you, or you give them different accoutrements to have them stay on board and actually show that you appreciate the customer. Not Woody. And then he actually raises ticket prices after a 4-13 and season, after not having been in the playoffs for 11 years. I mean... But the but that but that's classic Woody. He's he's had he doesn't even know how to run a business. Look look at all the lawsuits Johnson and Johnson are having to deal with due to the you know giving their customers cancer, and due to their own negligence and incompetence. I mean the guy has no clue how to run a business. You know why? Because he's a trust fund baby. He's been given absolutely everything in his life on a silver platter. And he, he doesn't have to work for anything because everything's been handed to him in life. So, of course, he's not going to understand the, the struggle and the plight of Jets fans who spend their hard-earned money and time on this franchise, whether it be on tickets, whether it be on merchandise, or even just general support. You know, those, these people need to be rewarded. The, the people, especially the season ticket holders who have who have gotten absolutely zero return on their investment, they deserve to get more accoutrements to, to, to say thank you. Thank you for, you know, for supporting us. You know, we're on our way back, but, you know, but this is how I can show my appreciation for, for your dedication. That's what needs to be done. But of course, Woody won't do it because he's locked away in his little billion mar bubble and he doesn't give a fuck about Jets fans. So Woody Johnson, and I forgot to mention Chris Johnson, but more so Woody because he's actually the figurehead of this. You are a fucking piece of shit. You are incompetent and you're a fucking clown. Go fuck yourself. Congratulations. You're on the shit list. So there it is, Jets fans, our, my first new inductee into the shit list. Let me know what you think of the segment, and um, as always, go Jets, and um, give a quick shout out to my boys at Let's Talk Jets Radio, and I hope you guys have a great day.